All right, guys, we're not even going to do an intro for this video, nothing like that. This is not the best news ever. We had an officer come out here, and uh, we were feeding the animals at the barn, mm -hmm. and we see this officer pull up and, hmm, didn't really know what was going on. We thought maybe some people called animal control or something on us. Uh, well, it ended up being uh, the uh, oil-filled commissioner something mm -hmm. so, well, of the other uh, an officer and he came out and he had to look at everything and we're at the point now where we don't really know what to do with the tiny house so as most of you guys know we've been building this over the last i don't know 10 years <laughs> seems like it um we had been working on it for a while and then we took a break uh, we were going to try to get electric out here and that was taking a while we tried to get a water well out here that was taking a while finally got the water well uh, we started clearing for electric we started clearing our entries started doing well, all that stuff it's a good thing that we didn't start getting electric in yeah we actually didn't do it for a reason mm -hmm. just kidding we just didn't do because there's a million things going on but it really truly played out in our favor <sighs> we don't know at this point if we're gonna sell or if we're going to figure something out uh, we're in talks right now with the electric company mm -hmm. to see i guess let's circle back yeah, let's and tell show. you tell you what's going on as you guys know we bought property with oil fill stuff on it we were told it was abandoned when we came out here at the beginning there was no road yeah we basically made this road yeah uh, but the things we learned from the officer yeah. are this. If you live in Oklahoma, odds are that uh, you are living on oil-filled property. Uh, he showed us a map and it's everywhere. We thought, oh, we got one pump on here. Not a big deal. Nope. I think there was five or six wells mm -hmm. on our property at one point or another. And this road is part of that. So they have the easement that comes through. And how far on each side did we get? It's 30 feet on each side that the oil field needs. And guess what? So 30 foot out from the middle of the road, that way is where our electric's gonna go. So we'd already started clearing, but here's the thing. So the stake right here is where a, a power pole's gonna go, right here, which is five feet from our uh, driveway. So unfortunately, we can't even have power. And also, down there, the pole is too close to the oil field electric pole. About to measure. Yeah, so let's measure 30 foot out that way and see how far the tiny house is. Can we even keep the tiny house? What are we doing? So 30 foot is to right here, which we're lucky with the tiny house, but unfortunately, the camper's gonna have to move. So the camper itself will have to move because it's too close to the line and the officer asked us if we can move it. So that leads us up in there right now. We can keep the house, but I don't even know if we can get power. So this oil field road, guess where it goes? Straight to our brand new pretty barn with our new fencing and new animals. That you worked on all by yourself. and Yeah, and guess what? Really it worked so hard to get the animals to. And we were told that if they want to come through, they can bulldoze right through it. So on the back side of the barn here, you guys know we started doing fencing this way and we got Outlaw to do the mulching all the way down the side over there. Well, that's going to have to change. Power pole there, that might be a massive issue. Alright guys, you know Outlaw came out and cleared all this. It was exactly what we needed. He did an amazing job. Now it's not necessary. Unfortunately, this is the entrance to the abandoned not abandoned anymore driveway for the oil fill and they can come in at any time and uh, use it which they probably won't mm -hmm. but we have to not use this as our main entrance so we got to figure something out on the other side of the property so over here in our corner up by the road this is going to be our what new entrance maybe it really depends on how we can uh do electric if we could uh if we can get electric out here and ran underneath the pole over there yeah. this could be it we still we don't know what's going to happen but if for some reason uh, electrics have an issue we might move the entrance a little further down but mm -hmm. for now i think we're going to try to do a straight shot 
if it works out. So, as you guys know, we were going to get power out here, like we said. Well, there's a pole right next to the gate, and there's poles going down the uh, area right here. That's why we cleared for the power, and now we can't even utilize that. So, if we would have spent $10,000 and put power in, oh, we would have been out a lot of money. And we were planning on doing a whole entrance. We were going to redo this whole thing. We were doing all the fencing, clearing it all up. If we would have done that, that would have been a big waste because this isn't going to be our driveway anymore. Oh, huge wrench was thrown into the whole mix. Okay, so we know y'all probably already commented like crazy. You've already asked a bunch of questions. We're going to try to answer everything we can. Uh, we thought it was abandoned. We were told it was abandoned. Mm -hmm. uh, when we came out here, it looked abandoned. Yeah, again, the... Uh the road wasn't even a road. We were we made it. Yeah, you could barely tell that Up it until once kind was of around the corner, but yeah, us driving on it made it more. And so then we the took road. the box blade of the tractor. We yeah. we actually got it going. And the guy even said, "I'm actually really surprised at how well these roads are taken care of." Well, we were using it as our driveway, okay. and now we need to come up with a whole new uh, idea, a whole new thing. Uh, we're at the point where. Is it worth even staying? Is it worth trying to get power over here? We have to run power from the whole other side. We have to, yeah, we'll have to do the whole other side. So that means we'll need to get Outlaw back out here. Yes. She's amazing. Yes. He'll definitely get the job done. Yes. Uh, but the cost of that and then the cost of gravel yes. to do a whole new driveway. There is a creek over there. So we'll have to get a culvert yep. and do that, the cost of that. Then we'll have to decide, is it worth running power from that side all the way through? Because then we'll have to clear even more trees because we have to keep the right of way over there. You guys saw those old power poles. Those are the uh, oil fill power poles, which we thought we could tap in when we first bought the property. And we were even told, hey, it's got power poles on here. Uh, we then found out you can't do that. So we called the uh, co-op around here and they came out and they marked everything. Well, then unfortunately we can't do that yeah where so, they even the engineer marked yeah we can't even use that can't even use that so is it worth even trying to get power over here do we try to get solar is it all the amount of money that's going to take to even bring power over here or to get power solar whatever is it worth doing all that or do we scrap the idea do we sell it we have no idea right now what we're going to do so again, I know some of you are saying you should have done your due diligence and uh, asked the realtor and all that. Well, legally, the realtors don't have to tell you any of that stuff, we found out. And also, uh, we found out that uh, this happens all the time. People have literally built whole neighborhoods over stuff like that, built their houses on top of old wells, uh, done all sorts of things. Uh, the officer, again, was extremely nice to us, and he thanked us for being very, very nice <laughs> back. So, unfortunately, all this stuff happened, but again, we're very, very thankful that they uh, filled us in on this because there's no telling what would happen. And we are very thankful that the officer did come out, though. Yes. Um, he was extremely nice, again, extremely informative, and we, again, we are very thankful very that he came Caught out. off guard. Yeah. In other words, we you guys know we're just working every single day more money more money poured in yeah uh all that could have been a waste a uh, so. huge waste and if we would again guys it was going to be ten thousand dollars to get electric if we would have ran it down and done all that we would have lost ten thousand dollars because that would not technically it would be the oil fill. They could they yeah. could do whatever they want with it. The officer did say they probably wouldn't do something as long as it's the same guy. He doesn't sell it to someone else. Yeah. You know, so uh, it, it's just a really big eye-opening thing. My first thought was, holy cow, how bad is this? And he said, well, you have options. So, yeah. um, also, where we did where we planned to build the barn minium though, yes. completely clear. Yes. The, the big things are just right here. Everything we've already worked on. Uh, so yes. the that work that's already been done. Yeah. Up here, that's where the issue is. Yeah. So all the time, all the money, everything we put into this, we just don't know again what to do. Um, it's 
is it cheaper to stay here and try to get all this stuff reorganized, replanned, all everything redone, or do we sell, do we move on somewhere else that's maybe maybe established? Do we go somewhere else that, you know, doesn't have oil fill stuff? Do we move somewhere that already has power and a well on it? I mean, it's just, we have a million things going through our heads. We kind of know what we want to do. We just don't know at this point where it's left in the air right now with the electric company is the first thing we're getting with is can we get power all the way to the back where the bar dominion will be can or they go underneath the oil field or over or over either way can they do that because they're going to go around on that side or do we do solar how much would that cost mm -hmm. if it just it, we spent a year an entire planning this year out, planning out the lay of the land everything and uh even our studio over there won't have power because the power would have to go and cut over to here we can't cut straight over there i mean it threw a huge wrench into all this and uh, our minds are just going wild we don't know what to do we've been daily vlogging we said you know what let's just go ahead and fill you guys in on it uh we need y'all's input to help us out because this is a huge thing is this the end of the tiny house or just the beginning of an off-grid tiny house.